morning, Gold Rush. I hope everyone's doing well. Before I jump into this week's updates, which should be good for the next hour or so, just want to give Libby Bergner a huge shout out and a happy birthday today. Hope you all help me um, wish her a great day today. This week was a big week for education. If you are following the news, you'll know that a lot of organizations sent out some updates. If you're not following the news, good for you. Uh, but we did receive guidance from the state of Colorado. The district put out more facts and information this week. We also got some pretty big announcements from neighboring schools, and we do have parents' initial survey results. So here are just a couple of highlights from each. With regard to the Colorado's reopening um, guidelines, I did put some information below that talks a little bit about the science and why they are making different recommendations at the elementary level. I think it's always good to know the why. They do talk about trends in kids under 10 being able to transmit less to adults, which is interesting. Take it for what it's worth. It's interesting day in science as it is for education. Um, they also talked in that um, document about really limiting the number of adults working with kids, which we were sort of anticipating, um, and how that can really change based on your local health data. The district also put out some information uh, this week, which was new. They are now requiring all kids to wear masks. Uh, they also put out those blended learning options. You'll see option B is listed below. I would really take a peek at that as all options are on the table. We're planning for everything. And um, if we do go into that blended learning, there is a difference between e-learning and that blended model, which is shown below. In e-learning, which parents can select for, for, by the semester, it is instruction being um, delivered by an approved teacher in the district that was approved for accommodations, and they are using that Ingenuity program. In that blended learning model, it, or a fully remote lot model, it may really uh, fluctuate this year. We might go in between models, and it's taught by a GRE teacher using our modified curriculum. Um, so just some announcements from neighboring schools. You did see probably that Cherry Creek and Denver are going to 100% remote learning for the next two to three weeks. Always a possibility for us, so we're planning, like I said, for everything. And our parent survey results came in. About 60 students were opting for the e-learning option, but it's really important to know that that um, information is non-binding and they have until express check-in. So we've been marking up our class list this week, but knowing that that information could change. It has been a really busy week for a lot of GRE staff. Um, a huge shout out to Anita and Libby and Megan and Christy, Stephanie Brown and Christy Dismang. They've been working with me about really revising class lists, arrival and dismissal procedures, lunch and recess, uh, our initial meet and greet and back to school, really been working um, to change those so they allow for things like social distancing and keeping kids together in classes. All of these plans do exist and do work if we're in that AB schedule or fully back in person. Um, so they do exist in great detail, but I'm gonna hold uh, to share them with our school community, uh, teachers first, of course, uh, until a couple of big meetings happen. There's a big board meeting on Saturday, leadership's meeting on Tuesday, and then I have some, uh, some district meetings Wednesday and Thursday. So I'm hoping to get you all of that out um, by next Thursday at the latest. So thank you for holding tight and being patient with me. Uh, my best advice going into this school year is to continue to be agile and we're really going to have to adapt to different circumstances. Please know we are planning for all the different scenarios and really they are all on the table at this point. So plans are in place. We're just holding on and releasing them and your health and safety is always um, behind every decision that we're making. So have a great day, reach out. Um, I'm sure this will be dated by the end of the day, so take it for what it's worth. Have a great weekend and I will update you next week. Bye.